Hey guys, welcome to my channel Pretty Parsi Cook. My name is Roshni and today I'm going to show you how to make my mother-in-law's famous mutton biryani. Now every Eid she makes this mutton biryani and everyone, all of the friends that I know come specially to eat her mutton biryani. Finally, I've got her to share this recipe and I'm going to share it with y'all. So before I go, I'd want to request you to like, share, comment or subscribe to my channel so I can bring you all these lovely recipes and of course grow my channel. So on that note, let's get cooking. Step 1. Let's start with the mutton marination. So we will take a large bowl. To this we will add 1 cup of full fat yogurt, 1 cup of fresh coriander leaves chopped, 15 mint leaves chopped, 3 green chilies which we have finely chopped, 2 medium tomatoes finely chopped, 1 cup fried onions, 2 tablespoons ginger garlic paste 1 and a half tablespoon of fennel seeds which we will ground coarsely and add to this 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri chilli powder 1 teaspoon cumin powder 1 teaspoon coriander powder 1 teaspoon garam masala powder half a teaspoon turmeric powder 1 and a half teaspoon salt 3 to 4 tablespoons lime or lemon juice and we will mix all of this well to this we will add 1 kg of mutton which is goat meat on the bone marinate this mutton well keep it aside for 6 hours to overnight in the refrigerator Now we will start to cook this mutton once we've taken it out of the refrigerator and brought it to room temperature. Step 2. Let's cook the mutton. Place a pressure cooker on medium high heat and add 6 tablespoons of oil to this. To this add 2 medium potatoes which we have cut in large pieces. Fry it until golden brown and remove these potatoes and keep aside. Now to this oil, after removing the potatoes, we will add some whole garam masala which is 2 large pieces of cinnamon, 2 black cardamoms, 10 cloves, 14 peppercorns, 8 green cardamoms, 2 star anise and 2 pieces of mace or jaivantri as we call it. Let this crackle and stir a bit and to this we will add the entire mutton marination that we have kept aside. We will stir and cook this for 5 minutes. To this we will add 1 cup of water. Give everything a stir. And pressure cook this for 4 to 5 whistles. We will open the cooker once it has cooled, turn the heat back to medium, give everything a stir and add to this the fried potatoes that we have kept aside. Gently stir everything and simmer for 5 minutes getting to a nice thick gravy. This is our biryani mutton masala which we will use as our base. Now let's start with the rice preparation. Place a large pot on high heat with 2 litres of water. To this add some garam masala like 1 large cardamom, 10 cloves, 12 peppercorns, 5 green cardamoms. Add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 bay leaf, 2.5 teaspoons of salt, and give everything a good stir 
Now to this, we will just add a dash of oil and wait for the water to come to a nice boil. To this, we will add 500 grams of basmati rice which we have washed and soaked for 30 minutes. Give everything a good stir and boil the rice for 5 to 7 minutes. We want the rice to get to 80% done, not 100% done. So we will check after 5 to 7 minutes. You will see that the rice has become nice and long but yet it is to cook. Now it's time to strain this rice. So we will take it off the heat and strain the rice. And we will use this rice to start the layering of our biryani. So now step 4, let's start the biryani layering. So we will take a nice large thick bottomed pot for the biryani layering. We will put a thin layer of this rice at the bottom. This always protects the biryani from sticking down. Now we will add all the mutton masala of the biryani on top of this thin layer of rice. We will finish off with adding the rest of the rice on top of this mutton masala. Now you can add some orange or yellow food colouring over this. This is optional but just gives the biryani a good look. 2 tablespoons of rose water. We will take 1 fourth cup of milk, warm it, add half a teaspoon of saffron to it, mix it well and add it over the rice, 2 tablespoons of chopped mint we will sprinkle on top, 3 tablespoons of coriander will be sprinkled on top of the rice, 3 tablespoons of fried onions will be sprinkled over this too and finally 4 teaspoons of ghee would be put on top of the rice. Now we will cover this pot with a silver foil. Cover it nice and tight. We will place the lid of this pot very tightly over this and we will place this pot on medium high heat for the first 5 minutes to create some steam within. Then we will lower the temperature to low and cook this for 15 minutes. Now it is very important to have a thick bottomed pot over here so that the biryani doesn't burn. If your pot is not thick bottomed, then place a pan and put the pot over it so that you get indirect heat. Now after 15 minutes, your biryani is done, ready to serve. You can also set it aside for some time and then gently remove the foil and enjoy this lovely aromatic mutton biryani. Now remember, when you're dishing it out, be careful so that you dish it out nicely and gently so the rice doesn't break and you have lovely fluffed long grain rice with this amazing aromatic mutton biryani. So enjoy this with friends and family and don't forget to subscribe.